Aim at the State House, Indiana lawmakers passed a special resolution praising the NRA's work on Second Amendment issues. The NRA's president was there as the state Senate passed that resolution just a day after the mass shooting in Louisville. Faith doesn't matter your color, doesn't matter your gender, because they all strive under one common bond to protect the Second Amendment. In a statement, Senate Minority Leader Greg Taylor said our neighbors are still in mourning and we're honoring an organization that's played a central role in preventing the adoption of common sense gun safety laws across the nation. This week, our Kristen Eskow also spoke with State Senator Fatty Kadura. I'm extremely disappointed this invitation falls on, you know, at the, the time when we are suffering and struggling as a nation by losing so many lives to gun violence. And it's extremely important for us to be focused on passing common sense gun legislation to protect our kids so that they don't have to fear and live through trauma at their schools or in our communities. I think we should have focused our energy on solutions rather than amplifying the voices of those who promote more guns on our streets. Why does your caucus find the timing of today's resolution so problematic? It's tone deaf. It's extremely insensitive. The families across our nation are still grieving over the loss of family members uh, who woke up and never returned to their homes. It is extremely important for us. It's not just the timing. We are sick and tired of just sending thoughts and prayers while not acting on legislation. This General Assembly has purposefully not acted on legislation to protect our communities. Matter of fact, we reversed action by repealing the permitting process. We don't have comprehensive background checks. Our schools are vulnerable. And instead of providing solutions, we want to try, the General Assembly wants to train teachers to hold guns in our classrooms. They went against the will of our law enforcement officers who fiercely opposed the permitless carry. So who they invited today represents the opposition of what Hoosiers want or the opposite view of what Hoosier families are demanding, which is common sense gun legislation to protect our kids across the, the state of Indiana. State Senator Fatty Kadura there in an interview at the State House this week. Also at the State House, the State Senate is trying to put its stamp on the budget process with just a couple of weeks left in this year's legislative session. Kristen Eskow was at the State House as the Senate unveiled its budget plan. Indiana Senate Republicans have proposed more than a billion dollar increase in K through 12 school tuition support. They've also set aside state funding to eliminate textbook and curriculum fees, unlike the House's plan to change the school funding formula. And right now, Senate Republicans like State Senator Ryan Mishler aren't on board with the House GOP proposal to increase eligibility for school choice vouchers. I don't think there is an issue whether we have vouchers or not. I mean, that, that, we're, we're fine with that. I think we just have to figure out, is it you know, the 300% or the 400%, what should the eligibility be? Senate and House Republicans have proposed the same funding increase for public health, although it's two-thirds of what the governor requested, but they're still working out how to increase spending on mental health on top of using state dollars. House Republicans have called for raising the state's cigarette tax, but Mishler says Senate Republicans are more interested in a phone bill surcharge to fund the 988 crisis lifeline. What we decided to do was let's just work together and decide what is that fee going to be. I mean, I, I think we agree we didn't fully fund it. We just put some general fund dollars. There's got to be something else in there. But I think we need to decide what is that going to be. Democratic State Senator Eddie Melton proposed a cigarette tax increase in a Senate committee hearing, but Republicans rejected it. I think it's a piece to the puzzle. I think uh, the cigarette tax increase in addition to the 988 solution, I think will be fully addressed that issue. Senate Democrats say there are several parts of the GOP budget proposal they support, but have some concerns. State Senator Fatty Cadora wants to see a bigger funding increase for pre-K. Investing in early childhood education is the most strategic investment to be sure that we improve high school graduation rates and college enrollment rates. Senate Republicans have also proposed changing how charter schools are funded using property tax dollars instead of state grants. That's an idea Democrats say they're not on board with. Lawmakers have another two weeks to work out a final version of the budget before the end of session. At the State House, I'm Kristen Escal. All right, Kristen, thanks. Coming up next on this week's edition of In Focus, we'll talk with our panel about the NRA convention here in Indy with Donald Trump and Mike Pence both taking the stage the same day. And later, 
the massive fire in Indiana that had the president on the phone with Governor Holcomb and what the EPA is saying now about the aftermath.